a really great opportunity for any agent out there right now that feels that they can relate to people in this demographic and can maybe help coach them through some of the the, the feelings that they're going to have. Because here's the truth. Whenever there's a, a divorce with people that have lived in a home for 20 years together, there's going to be some emotional attachment to that home because there's a home full of memories. There's a home full of emotions and it's just going to, it's going to be a little bit more painful, but a, a really sensitive or patient um, or just empathic agent can say, I, I hear your feelings and I understand. Let me get you through this situation as best we can. And let's let's look on the bright side and move forward and turn the page. And this could be the beginning of a new adventure, right? So as long as you can be that, that shoulder that somebody can kind of lean on, but still keep an objectivity because that's where things get a little bit tricky is when an agent injects too much of themselves emotionally into a situation like that, because then one of the other two could get a little bit upset about it and feel that you're, you know, favoring the other person too much and you don't want to be that person, but you can still stand back, be empathetic and you know, just be patient with the people that you're working with and and try to show them that this could be a positive as opposed to a negative. And one of the things that I learned from doing this article was getting involved early on in the, the process. Um, when you bring a lender into it right at the beginning, you can have the lender show the, the two spouses that Financially, it doesn't make any sense for either spouse to stay in the home. And that makes a big difference. When you can get everybody on board with the fact that the home needs to be sold, then you won't have as much of that uh, that clinging uh, emotional response later down in, in, during the transaction when it becomes a little bit more messy. So having those types of skills, you know, where you're able to communicate with people in a, an honest and open and objective way, the, the agent that can do that is going to really, really find a niche that's, that that uh, will fill their pipeline like crazy and keep their bank account really healthy from here on out. So one, because you're talking to me now, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> a couple of things that I identified with. One, my children are 11 years apart. Yeah. And at this point, the youngest one is 15. Yeah. So when he goes away to college, right? I'll be, actually it'll be in three years, I'll be 55. So I'm making a a assumption here that a lot of people are waiting until their children get to either they go away to school, right? And the dynamics of the home change when you become an empty nester or or they graduate from school. So I could see that. The next thing, bringing in the lender to discuss the finances to me, it's phenomenal because everybody want to know, well, how is this really going to hit when we were a two income household versus if we become a one income household? What does that look like going into retirement? Uh, and then the next thing is emotionally, do you want to stay at that house? So I have a few friends who have been divorced and remarried. Don't no new spouse want to live in the ex spouse's house. Let's just get that right out. Absolutely. That is a very big issue. Not only do they not want to sleep in the same bed, they do not want to live in the same house. So that means <laughs> throw the whole bed away, right? right. They, throw it all out. <laughs> Start can, all we, over. can we get a new house? And so when you start thinking about the emotions, I don't think that a lot of people can get past the current situation, yes. right? That you get, one, you get a reset. Yes. You don't get the karma of the other person being around. And actually it can reduce sometimes the attraction of other people to you because they think you're still holding on. Yes. So, cause it was this emotional attachment part that stood out. So that means that we really are playing therapist in this situation. 